Since the dawn of time and well before the dinosaurs ruled the Earth, people have been wanting a Knights of the Old Republic film. And thanks to a recent article that was posted from BuzzFeed, it looks like it's very possible that we could get a trilogy of Knights of the Old Republic movies. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Wars news video. My name is Joker and today we're talking about this possibility that there may be a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic movie in the works. Now this news comes from BuzzFeed, which sometimes gets sources correct and sometimes not so much. Uh, some good people at Collider that I trust wholeheartedly have said that they trust whoever wrote the article because the sources they went through was very precise and people that have been known to give true statements in the past. So I'm on the side of thinking that this could very well be a thing that's happening. And right now it is news that Leda Calogridis is currently writing a screenplay for Knights of the Old Republic, a movie based off of the video game from 2003. Now, she's done several, several things. She was the executive producer for films such as Avatar and Shutter Island, and she was also the writer for Alita Battle Angel and as well as Shutter Island. So she's done a lot of work, and there's there's plenty more to that. She, yes, she did Terminator Genesis, but there was more than just one writer on that film. So even though the movie was bad, I don't think it's completely her fault. And what's even better is that this is the first time that a female has written a Star Wars story since uh, Empire Strikes Back, which was Leah Brackett all the way back in 1980, so it's been a while. But the sources are saying that she was hired in August of 2018 to write a Knights of the Old Republic script, and apparently she's almost done with it. So it leaves a couple questions as to, let's just go and say this is true, let's just assume that this video is all true. What does this mean? What does this mean for the Star Wars world in general? So a couple things about that is, well, Benioff and Wise. Benioff and Wise have a trilogy coming out for 2022, 24, and 26. That's when the three films are scheduled to be released. We all believe that it was supposed to be an Old Republic film of some sort. We did not think it was necessarily going to be Knights of the Old Republic. But with the way that this has been worded and the way that this is said that she was hired last year and she's almost finished writing the first script, They've got plenty of time to finish that, I would think, to write the next two scripts and give them for Benioff and Wise to be looking over because, you know, they're supposed to be the writers for this trilogy, but perhaps they're kind of like the overseers. They're seeing it and they wanted to hire other people to get some ideas. So maybe if they're supposed to be doing an Old Republic movie, perhaps this is actually what they're supposed to be doing and it is Knights of the Old Republic based. It would really be the only thing that actually makes sense with the timeline that we have right now because we're about to have a little bit of a break from the main releases uh, in theaters and stick with some Disney Plus content here until the next movie comes out in 2022. Some of the issues there are though, if it's not related to the Benioff and Wise trilogy, what is happening? Because that means that we have a possible three trilogies coming out. We've got the Benioff and Wise trilogy. There's still no news on the Ryan Johnson trilogy if it's still happening. And if it is, then that leaves this third trilogy that's being written for Knights of the Old Republic. So what's going on? And of course, you know, there's still the whole thing going on. That everyone's not liking Ryan Johnson. They don't want him to do a trilogy. But even though it's looking like he's going to be kind of culminating and working with Benioff and Wise for this trilogy. So if he doesn't have his own specific trilogy, perhaps he's working with Benioff and Wise on this Old Republic trilogy and maybe even... Uh, Leda is writing the script for that trilogy, which they will be working on. So it's a whole mess of possible, you know, conspiracies, I guess you could call it. There's a lot of, you know, speculation going on of what exactly is going to be happening here. When you look at this, though, this is actually some really fantastic news if everything turns out to be true, because Knights of the Old Republic is one of the most beloved video games of all time. 2003 was that, and I believe uh, KOTOR 2 came out in 2004, 2005, but th those two games are absolute perfect staples in the Star Wars universe. These are when, you know, the Star Wars games were fantastic before EA got a hold of it and screwed the whole thing. And these two games take place 4,000 years before the events of The Phantom Menace. So it's nowhere close to the Skywalker saga, so we wouldn't even be touching that at all. These would be all brand new characters that are being brought back into canon that we can all be focusing on and have their own story play out, giving us some more space as to what happened well, well, well before the events of The Phantom Menace into that Old Republic era to see when the Sith were at the height of their power and there was constant fights between Sith armies and the Jedi and the, at the time, the, the what we call now the Old Republic. It would just be a fantastic move to make to bring back some stuff into canon that was now brought into EU because these were two of the, the Old Republic was like a sacred place that everyone in the Star Wars world loved and seeing it go into Legends, it was kind of, it was sad, you know, and then they had the 
online MMO, uh, you know, that was just called The Old Republic, that is also not canon, but I mean, it could possibly bring in a lot of stuff so we could get a lot of Sith Lords and a lot of Jedi characters that were really important for the time. But we have some pros and cons here, so let's take a look at some things that could go well with this and some things maybe not as much. So as I've already mentioned, for some pros here, that it would revive Legends material. We would get a lot of that back, and a lot of, a lot of people are sad that they got rid of a whole bunch of characters like that and a lot of the storytelling. But since it takes place, like I said, 4,000 years before the events, you could keep that and then just kind of tweak it as it goes. I mean, that would be great. You know, those are two big points in the Star Wars universe. We got to keep those. It's more or less beloved by the entirety of the fan base. I, I maybe met like three people that maybe didn't like it just because they didn't like the gameplay, but the story itself is true, genuine Star Wars, and everyone loves it. Another two of the other things that we have is the great characters and great stories. We have Basta Lashan. We have Darth Revan, Darth Malak, we have HK-47, an assassin droid, we have Wookiees, we have Twi'leks, we have all sorts of stuff that we can use. And it would just be great to utilize these characters to show what they can do and show off some really great force powers. And again, you know, it's one of the greatest video games of all time from the Star Wars side of things. Um, but let's look at some cons here. So we got some cons, you know. We already kind of know how the story ends, but that's fine. You know, we could see it on a much grander scale, taking the one game being KOTOR 1 and moving it between three scripts, because apparently this is supposed to be a trilogy for the Knights of the Old Republic. So if that's the case, you could take the one game, split it into three movies, be perfect. It would be safe. You'd have plenty of time to go around a lot of the, you know, the side quests you got to do in the game and some of the intricate storytelling and tell a realistic version of KOTOR that works. And maybe, you know, you want to tweak some stuff here and there, that's fine. But I think it would be really safe to do that, to have one game for a trilogy of movies so you can play the story out without missing anything and having it feel very rushed. But another con is that, again, like everything else, it is a video game adaptation. However, because it's Star Wars and this is something that is easily it's easy to move over to film because it has such a solid story it is very story based in this game it is also very possible that this could turn into one of the greatest video game adaptations ever but of course because it is a video game adaptation there are still going to be limitations of some sort so you know like in the game you're able to choose the light side or the dark side they're probably going to go with the actual canon storyline of light side so that's fine you know just as long as everything plays out and no fans get angry at it um and we also really, we know the characters so well at this point because we've been playing this game for years. I recently just finished KOTOR again for like my eighth time since I've had the game. So we are very familiar with the characters. We know what they would and wouldn't do. So casting wise is something you've got to be really careful with. And if you're rewriting the story a little bit, you're trying to tweak it here and there. You really have to be careful because we know how the characters act and we know how they would be played. So we need to be really careful during the casting of that too to not upset the fan base and to make sure that this movie thrives to what it should be able to do. So overall, there are some fantastic things going on. The one thing that concerns me is that this is supposedly supposed to be a trilogy of films. So if this is linked to the Benioff and Wise trilogy and that is their trilogy is actually Knights of the Old Republic based. One, fantastic. I'm so excited for it. It'll be great. I think it'll be perfect in my opinion. You need all three of these scripts to be finished before you start filming because you're going to fall into the same problem that they had with The Force Awakens and then again with The Last Jedi. This new trilogy of Star Wars films, it did not have a point A to point B throughout the entire thing. It was not saying we're going to start the trilogy here, the trilogy is going to end here. It was literally higher on to write as it went and that's why it's suffering so much now Leda is supposedly hired to write all three scripts now if she does that before they start filming I think they'll be fine because they'll have a clear shot of where they're starting and where the trilogy is supposed to end to know where to place certain things throughout the films if they're just going to do it as they run with it and say okay first movie went out and went great all right let's write the next script there's going to be some issues and there's going to be some continuity errors just from point a to point b and I think it's not safe to do that. I think you should have all three scripts finished before you start filming. Again, just my opinion, I'm not a director, so I don't know how that stuff works. Overall though, I think this is fantastic news for the Star Wars fan base, seeing that we could possibly get KOTOR coming back into canon, maybe even a re-release of the game in an HD remake, please, please, please. But it's just, you know, it's too close to tell. We don't know if any of this is concrete evidence. We don't know if any of this is true or not. This is just speculation. And another thing about that is that we also don't know exactly when this is coming out or what it's attached to. We know it's not necessarily attached to Benioff and Wise, but it would make the most sense like that. However, there's also the possibility that this could be three films that are just going straight to Disney+. Plus. I don't think that would be the smartest choice to make because it would kind of miss out on some money opportunities. But it is very possible that these three films are going to be going directly to Disney+, Plus for the streaming service, instead of going straight into theater releases. And in doing so, you could be working 
working on two separate Star Wars projects at the same time and then have your theatrical releases for this new trilogy that are coming out from Betty Off and Wise and if this Knights of the Old Republic series is a different trilogy have it go straight to Disney Plus and not miss any of the gaps in between so that way you can have two releases at the same time and in doing so you wouldn't be missing out on any of the box office income for there being too many Star Wars films coming out or maybe people being confused as to what kind of like how they're spacing it out because if you're spacing it out 2022 2024 2026 and you put a second trilogy in to fill in those gaps mass confusion between the general populace and i don't think you should be doing that at all so it's very possible that this could either be a trilogy set for well after 2030 or going directly to the streaming service my guess would be the streaming service that's what i think is going to happen if this is all turning out to be true but again not much else to know because this is all just speculation and i think in the next couple of days we're going to get a little bit more on if this is true or not or there might be some light shed on any of this but until i get more of that information for you guys that's going to be it for this video guys remember if you like what you saw be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more star wars news videos or if you'd like to see anything else but until then and as always i will see you guys next time